Howdy ho, boyos. Um, so we won our first game against San Francisco, who's usually pretty bad in simulation, is what it is. But now we're facing, in real life, the defending Super Bowl champions in 2022. but in, Or 2021, I suppose. But in simulation, we're the defending champions. But they were a playoff team, but they are 0-1. Um, we've got an absolutely loaded offense with a mediocre at best defense. Um, yeah, free safety is where we need to worry. I did put the rookie, Devontae Cannon, free safety over, you know, real life player, uh, five year experience, Darian Thompson, just because he's 27 and he's at a 70, he's not getting any better. By allowing Devontae Cannon to play, hopefully he uh, he grows. And he, he played pretty okay last game. Um, Tony Overton got injured, our star player from the draft, mostly because our player sucked. Again, his picture looks nothing like him, most of, uh, you know growing some hair for the season, but he's back now, so that's what matters, and then our other big name one, Stefan McGee, still looks pretty bad, and so I'm playing him behind Neville Gallimore, who I know can play, uh, he was our backup last year, but he was a solid backup, he's a decent starter, all things considered, would I like an upgrade there, absolutely, but, you know, is it the worst, uh, absolutely not, and then we got Shepard, who realistically isn't going to see much game time. Boy, does he look crazy. Um, who are our captains? Will show me who our captains are? Jalen Smith is the captain. Um, who's someone else I might want to make captain? Is Marcus Lawrence a captain? He is. Okay, that's good. And then on the other side of the ball, obviously Dak's going to be a captain. Yep. Then who is our other captain? Is it Zeke? There of them. That's Zach Martin, that's who it was. I knew it had to be one. Zach Martin's a good choice. He's probably who I would go with as well at that point. So I mean honestly I don't even know why we have Ola Whale. Uh he was injured all of last season. Now he's back, but he's a lower ranking than Dalton Schultz at uh, fullback. It's like, what? what's the point of having him there, you feel me? Uh, so yeah. With all that gibberish out of the way, you know, meh defense, but a really solid offense. We can still win the Super Bowl now. Is our you know, record going to be as good as last season? Probably not. Um, but you never know. Sunday prime time. Let's see what the Bucks can get. Almost want to go with their creamsicles, but that might just be too ugly. Um, bro, my printer's having an aneurysm. I don't know what its deal is. God, the 20 is just so ugly. It's like so ugly, dude. God, the creamsicle is even worse. Like, they've only had one. This is their first year. Actually, no. The 2000s was okay. Yeah, you know what? They can rock the 2000s throwback. And I'm... We're going to do the 75th anniversary throwback. It just gets boring seeing the same uniform every time, you know? I feel like we're always wearing the white uniform. Always. So the real life 2020 NFL Super Bowl champions versus the in universe 2020 Super Bowl champions. Let's see who wins. Cream Hunt is on. That's an interesting trade. Cream Hunt on the um, Buccaneers now. God, I hope we beat them. Tom Brady's gonna be what 44 now. There's Bruce Arians trying to make it back to back. You know, you know. This this season might be a defining one for us because we're gonna have a lot of contracts uh, come next season. But I don't think we just have the ability to pay right now. We're gonna have to let some good players go. I do want to keep the you know offensive trio of Amari Cooper. Might get a new quarterback. I know I said that last season, but might draft a new quarterback. This is gonna be a tough matchup. 
is that these Florida showers would have passed through by now, but it looks like we're in for a wet one today. It's going to be a rain. In Tampa, nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready. Two touchdowns of Mark. I mean, Mark Cooper has records in this game. I don't know why we're acting like that's anything crazy. He's literally got a world record, beat Jerry Rice out last season. All right, let's get this going. Full days since I played. I just haven't had time lately with AP exams and all that jazz. All right, let's see what Tony gets. Tony, Tony's been getting a small bit more playing time than usual. Uh, a good run, a good run. Thought I saw something there, but they were unblocked for the most part, so. Four touchdowns, two interceptions. Not the worst. I did have a pretty bad game, all things considered, last game, but. I mean, I had that one in the Super Bowl, too, so it is what it is. But yeah, maybe we can get an X Factor quarterback in the draft. That would be huge. It's a big risk, but I think it's a calculated one, just because he's so dang expensive. On first and ten, Prescott flushed out right. Yeah, we're going to throw it away. Yeah, there was nothing there I didn't like. Yeah. Bucks defense is scary, man. Kind of wanted to go to whoever was on the slant there, but I figured cross body was kind of, you know, kind of, kind of scary. Man, I'm not having a good game. Their defense is just nasty. I'm not punting, though. I'm not punting. I'll be. <gasps> Roughing the passer. Roughing the passer. Come on, bail me out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bail us out. Bail us out, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I saw it the second he got hit, I knew it was going to be it. God, that is so funny. So lucky, man. Yeah, I think I definitely had some burnout the last couple weeks. I, I noticed I stopped talking as much. It just was getting less interesting. So I'm, ex I'm, ex I'm excited to, you know, ramp things up. That was an awful throw. Alright, we're going to stay in the pocket and see what we get here. Ah. Okay, let's see if we can get this field goal. Oh, this one's going to be tough. Come on, come on, right down the middle, let's go. I'll take a field goal. Yeah, their defense is scary, man. Tell you what, our punter does not get a whole lot of use. <laughs> he, he really just doesn't. See, how's Tom Brady doing this season? 1 to 0. Alright, alright. Not a bad stat line for one game. Especially a loss. That's not an awful. I mean, zero interceptions. Alright, let's go zone. Our specialty. We gotta watch out on the left. I don't know what um, Devontae Cannon is capable of, but it's a run, so. Is that Tony Overton, number 51? I believe it is. 
53 yards. And to me, the goal is the exact same thing as last week. Get him the ball early and often. I think he's got another big game in him in this one. This one complete to score. <sighs> Who's 44? Who's 44? I gotta learn all the numbers now that we're getting new players out here, you feel me? I think 44 is Devontae Cannon, maybe? Yeah. I mean, decent wrap-up. I think that, sh for most players, would have been a deflection, but if nothing else, he wrapped up, so... I'll give him, I'll give him credit where credit is due. Dude got destroyed. Oh my god. The coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. On second down now, it's Hunt. Oh my god. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy. Dude, we need to absolutely just destroy Kareem Hunt. I don't care. Fucking just. Get a car or a flag. I don't even care. Just destroy his ass, man. What a piece of shit. Oh, he should have moved to that. How is Tom Brady not an X Factor? He's a superstar. Are you kidding me? I get he's old or whatever, but I mean, come on. That's just disrespectful. He won a Super Bowl this year. I'll be on a sack team, but. Oh, but he ran outside. He ran outside. Yeah, we're not gonna go for it. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, fourth and short. I don't know what you're doing, man. <laughs> yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah, good on them. Good on them for that one. I'm glad they did that. Oh, who is that? Gallimore? Yeah. Told you he's good. He's he's not the best ever, you know, to play, but he's reliable. We'll do a blitz. I kind of feel like this one's a run. Or, no, it's not a run. Why would it be a run on second and 19? Oh, that did. Oh, that did. Oh, boy. Uh, why did I blitz on second and 19? Bro, I'm stupid. Why do I? Why do I do? Well, why do I do? I'm actually stupid. <laughs> I'm actually stupid. You know, Cowboys Twitter is calling for head coach's head right now after that play call. Oh, come on! You got to wrap up there. Was that? Who's number 30? I don't know. Oh my god. Is that Gronk? Or did Gronk retire? Who is this guy? Oh, OJ Howard. I don't think OJ Howard's on the Bucks in real life, is he? I don't think so. Alright, they're up. That was a really impressive drive in all honesty. Good for them. Joey Sly. This is Tony Pollard. Dang, I thought I had a route for a second. I don't like this call at all. We're gonna run it. There we go. There we go. Push your way through. Feed him, man. Alright, you know my route here. You know my route here. Just keep him off for a second, man. 
That was a quite the bad throw, but Amari Cooper caught what would have been an interception, so <laughs> that would have 100% been an interception had he not caught that, so good on him. That was risky. I kind of faked him with the truck. I'll take it. <laughs> That's not where I wanted it to go, but or to who I wanted to, but Michael Gallup on the absolute steal there. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time. A drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well. Yes, sir. Take, Take him down. Take him down. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Oh, this is not going to end well. We'll see. But you've got to disrupt the timing. Yep, I knew it. Could have been worse, though. Doesn't matter what we pick. I never call man anymore. It's just not even in our playbook, essentially. Oh, how did he get that out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good stuff, Jalen Smith. Oh, another nice play by Jalen Smith. Just absolutely on top of it. I'm going to call a timeout. Hope we can uh, get the ball back, maybe score. <sighs> Destroyed, bro. Is what it is, but. <laughs> Dude, they're just getting laid out. Absolutely laid out, man. Stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, it's Brady. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. Yeah, just dis absolutely just destroy him, bro. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Brady again. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Third and three. Brady to throw again. The catch made. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. As he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Oh my god, he ducked. Wow. Wow. Oh, how did he not block that? <laughs> Explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. 
Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. All right, let's see if we can get at least a field goal here. We are not into field goal range. What are you talking about, good sir? Nice catch, just out of bounds. All right, let's get Elliot here. You may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. You'd have to like what they've done defensively at the outset of this draw. When in doubt. A couple of incomplete passes bring up a third and two. When in doubt, man. Slant it out. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Flush to his right. Cooper's got it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll throw again. Prescott flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Yeah, we're just going to go for the field goal. Here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be from the right hash and it'll be a 36-yarder. All right, down by one, going into the half. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. All right, all right. Down by one. This is manageable. Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Oh, there's the glitch again. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis, where you see the final score there. <laughs> Sam Darrell still on the Jets. <laughs> in a close one. James Winston. Why is James Winston always a star for the coach or er, the Colts in simulation? This afternoon. Man, Washington's going to be scary again, aren't they? And then lastly, the nation gets a good one on Monday night between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, All right, let's give. All right, let's, let's make this count right here. We've yet to been able to stop them from getting a touchdown, so let's see if we can change that. Oh, it's going to be a face mask by Jalen Smith. Jalen. Oh, no. No. Okay, we're going to accept that. They lost 13 yards there. Let's go. God, you left him wide open. That's a first and ten already, man. I already made back. Ten out of thirteen yards I lost. What was that? Okay, what was that? Oh, come. Seriously, man? What the hell was that? I mean, seriously? What's going to say... What's going to be said is that that was some... Oh my god, why can't you hit all of a sudden? He just ducks and they pretend like they can't see him. Like, is he playing like hide-and-go-seek or something? Alright, 
Yeah, crush cream hunt. We're just not gonna win on man against Mike Evans and the crew. Alright, come on. Third and eight. Come on. I mean, I know Brady will just do a quick pass and instantly, you know, get a first down. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Of course it is. Of course it is. God, that's some BS, man. Come on, intercept. What are you doing just standing there, Jalen Smith? It's wide up in the air. Catch it. Do your job. It was right. Dude, they're incompetent. Instead, you can let him get the first down and then some. God, this is so infuriating, dude. Ball start. Alright, alright. Come on. Keep him to a field goal here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, fumble the dang ball on hits like that. Gee. They've been hit stick like no other today. Come on. And I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. Yes, thank you, Leighton Vanderush. Alright, they want us to start with slants, we'll start with slants. Come on. Yeah, come back to it. Ah, oh, what a snag, what a snag. Ah, oh, and he's in the zone. Let's go. They want us to go double slants, we'll go double slants. What kind of throw was that? What kind of throw was that? Is he out of the zone already? Oh my god, one. Come on, catch that. DPI. I saw that one coming from a mile away. I saw that one from a mile away, man. Let's go. Too closely, he like pulled him back. Alright, who's open here? Kessler Cooper. I didn't want to go to him, but it was too tight, but there was nowhere else to go. And we do. Let's go. Touchdown on the 
season and the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth we're gonna go for the two-point conversion here if it's a bad idea it's a bad idea but let's go let's go what a catch Amara Cooper that way if they get the field goal it's no win God, yeah, they covered that well. I just kind of threw it up and hoped for the best. I really thought it was going to fail and that was going to be game, but Mario Cooper, man, absolute legend. Alright, let's keep them out of the end zone. If we keep them out of the end zone, we win. Alright, man. Come on. Come on. How is he? What, how's the clock still running if he's out of. Bro, this game is so broken. See, how do they just get them random bursts of speed that just are inhuman? It's just so dumb sometimes. Come on, block that, come on, jeez dude. God, I want to blitz, but they're just too good on the blitz. Like, it does nothing against them. Come on, get him. Ah, oh, god dang it, Kareem Hunt. God dang, Kareem Hunt. God, they're gonna. There we go. This is going to be a run for first down. How could I tell? Alright, well it don't matter because... Yeah, they're still going to go for it, obviously. Can we stop them here, please? Or we could get a two-minute warning. Okay. Come on, let's block him here. This is the game right here. Come on, come on, come on. No! Come on. We gotta start calling timeouts. Come on, dude. Why are you doing that? Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do something absolutely mental. Oh, what? 
Dude, come on. Back to throw, Brady. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. They'll contain him to just Dude. four. Second down. Now second and six at the 8-yard line. To the goal line. Go, go. Come on. is locked in gonna call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page Dude, come on how do you just get those random bursts get only a yard out of that and it'll bring up fourth down he's gonna get it <gasps> no he's not <gasps> no come on all the way all the way all the way come on Jordan Super Bowls Oh my god. Super Bowl MVP Jordan Lewis. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh his first interception of the year. Let's go. I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that may be... Dude, I can't believe... <laughs> I thought it was over. I thought that was over. Break Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. It's 11 points in 20 seconds. It don't matter. This one fielded at the five. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Dude, that was so scary. Oh, my God. I can't believe that worked. By O.J. Howard. And what can they do to better account for him? Because they haven't accounted for him well so far. Yeah, look. Look how he just does them random. Like, it's ridiculous. It doesn't matter what we call him. Oh my god. Of course he catches that. That's ridiculous. We'll see if they go back to base. God, their O line is just so good. God, this Howard is just. How's he not in the 99 overall cup at this point? <sighs> what? <laughs> what it? End game. Yeah, that way Michael Gelb just absolutely stole that touchdown. For the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football. Yeah, they're pa look at the passing yards, dude. And they closed them absolutely mental. Down the stretch. So for Dallas... It was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head home for next week's contest. That is against Washington. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, they'll drop to 82% completion rating. What a game. What a game. Dude, that was scary. I mean, Tony, Tony Overton didn't have many big plays, but he's not on the field all that often, in all honesty. That's why I'm not too worried about his position. Uh, Leon Vanderreich, we'll go. Field General, get him up to an 86. Let's go. Alright, good stuff. Uh, Xavier Woods. We'll go hybrid. Get him up to an Whoa, he went up two overall. Awareness plus three plus plus three. Take it. And then Dion Cook. Um, he's our new backup, isn't he? I believe he is. We'll go to zone. Just because that's what we play the most. Execute order 66. You know, you know. Okay. 
Well, we're two and oh, let's go. So, Marcus Mario, he's rated 69 in this game. Dude wasn't that bad. I'd put him at like a 70, 70 74 maybe. Oh, that's just evil, man. Well, 2 0. Let's go to the next week where we face the ever dominant Washington football team. Alright, let's see. Let's see whose contracts are up this year. This could be scary. Michael Gallup, do we bring him back? He's really good, but we already have a solid, solid core. 31.6 over 4. That's really expensive. Yeah, there's no way Dak's coming back. No offense to Dak, but... Dude, I just can't. Our punter. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hunter, he's that team captain. Dude, he doesn't see the field. Oh, let's see who else. Okay, so the got a couple big names. Our favorite backup. I, I uh, I'll bring back Armstrong. Dalton, and I don't really care in all honesty. Um, it's not an awful year. We can franchise tag Dak again if we really need to. God, seventy-five. I know we're five years. With a hundred sixty million dollar bonus, that's just ridiculous. I mean, honestly, I'll we'll probably franchise tag Dak and then Michael Gallup, Gallup, Chris Jones are on the chopping block. We'll probably bring back a. But why is Connor Williams? Connor Williams is our backup, isn't he? Yeah, no, he's getting overpaid. Is what that is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's a backup left guard. He's not making more than our starting defensive tackle. He's out. Um, how much money do we have? <laughs> if I make him that much, that deal, that's an awful deal. I just can't make him that deal. How about Michael Gallup? What deals can I make Michael Gallup? Nothing, really. I mean, there's not a lot I can do with our salary situation. We're gonna start regressing real fast. Um. Okay. I think we need to look at, wow, the number one pick is a right guard, a 6-0, strong arm, QB fit, that could be good, um, okay, Desmond Kang, ooh, never mind, alright, Randy Bradley, okay, he's someone to keep on our board, um, o -line, or, yeah, O-line's not really a problem. Um, possibly someone to put on our board. This is not a big QB, oh. Okay. Basically a no QB draft. Oh god. Wow. Okay. Um Wow. Oh wow. Holy bad draft. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that draft. That is just truly terrible. Well. I mean, the only 
only thing we really need is free safety if there's one available on here. That's good. Randall Cobb's available. Remember he was on our team for a year. There's a strong safety. Um, God, our cap room is just a mess, man. Terrell Suggs. One of the best players of all time, but 38 years old. Um, Trent Taylor's not bad. Trey Wayne's <laughs> absolute legend. Um, I mean, we... Man, we are just in a pickle, man. Okay, so what picks do we have in general? We have two first rounders, both guessed to be near the end. Third, fourth, sixth, and seventh. Hmm. Well, if this one's going to be at the end, why don't we see if we can get early second for it. They think they're going to do that good, are you kidding me? Okay, how about the Broncos? Yeah, they're expected to be bad. And uh, next year. Okay, how about a sixth? Well, come on. And a seventh? Fine, don't take our dang pick then. How about the Cardinal? Forty four and thirty five. How about that? That's a and we can give them a six. I don't care. Uh, no one wants the thirty first pick. I wonder why. Come on, here's what we'll do. We'll do thirty first for a second and a third. How about that? Uh, close, close. Well, if we had a seventh rounder in there. Ah, oh, they want nothing to do with this second. How about six then? Oh my god, man. And how about their seventh rounder and our sixth and seventh. Oh my god. And next year sixth. How about that? Two sixth. You know, fine. That'll be for another day. I just don't even know what to do with our situation. You feel me? Um, like, who is hurting us the most right now? I mean, Dagmar is real good. He takes up a whole lot of our space.
Phil Collins. That's our um, that's our problem. He's good, but is he that good? So we have him until 2024. So I, it's conservative play for the next. Let's see. Wow. We really just are in a pickle, aren't we? We have. A lot of long term deals that just don't seem to get better. They do not seem to get better whatsoever. And they're only gonna start regressing. Yeah, we're we're in trouble here. Michael Gallup's been cheap. I think I think we gotta get rid of Michael Gallup this year. We have such a good core already. Ah, oh, woozy. I shouldn't have signed him to that. Eric Griffin too, man. Actually, no. He's he's proved his worth. But CD Lamb pretty all right. You know, Super Bowl MVP Jordan Lewis pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Had the game winner last week. Xavier Woods uh, a little expensive for how good he is. Greg Zerline, 2.83. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Um, I mean, do we trade Blake Jarwin and have Dalton Schultz be our starter? Is that what we do here? It's a team that needs a tight end. Cardinals in there. Let's see. No one really needs a tight end. Huh. This could be a problem. I didn't just see tight end. No, I didn't. We, no one wants a tight end. Let's see. Any team need one whatsoever? Oh, Packers need one. So maybe. We take a, I don't know, a third rounder for Blake Jarwin. Ah, so I can't trade anyone whatsoever? Can I release players? Like, okay. So good, man. I don't want to let my old cons go, but I mean, what else is there to do? You feel me? I think move number one. It's going to give us one million dollars back. Only a million. Is that eight hundred K? I mean, I will take it. Say we lose more money than, or than we do just keeping him. Yeah. I 
I mean, you feel me? You just gotta make room. Ah, uh, let's see. Sure. I'll take the penalty there if it means we get just a slim bit more space. Oh, Thompson. I don't really see a need for Thompson here. You feel me? Oh, million dollar. Perfect. Alright, let's see. Who else? Just getting rid of some of the lower... Guys who aren't going to see any playtime realistically. I can't even release him because he's injured. So we cleared up a couple million, I suppose. Oh, so we can't do it because we're below roster size then. That would be unfortunate. Um, God, the Ezekiel Elliott one. I mean, he's got five years, right? I'm not going to release him, obviously. Um... Yeah, because even that we'll lose five million. But that begs the question of what we're gonna do. I think the best course next year is let Dak go, even though he's flying absolutely phenomenal. Um Yeah, that one hurts to do. It really does, but... I mean, what else can we do in that situation, you feel me? We've got a good team, but after this season, I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know. Tony Overton. I just don't know what to do. Should not have re-signed a woozy, but it's too late now. Yeah, I'm not sure. All I know is that for now, we're signing absolutely nobody. And we're gonna head off for the night. So I will see you guys later.